Hello, I'm Tana Rennick, and I was going to talk to you a little bit about spurs. Um, I use spurs on, on almost every horse. Um, I don't use them to try to get a horse to run harder or anything like that. I use them, number one, for respect. Um, I want them horses respect, respecting my feet. And when I put a foot, a leg in a horse, I want, them, I want them off of me, you know, without, and I'm not going to come out here and just harpoon them. But, but when I put pressure and I put that in there, I, I want that rib. My main deal is I want it to bend that rib and to keep that, keep that rib bent. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people think, you know, the harder you kick them, the more they'll run, this, that, and the other. Um, I've found a lot of times if I'm needing more run out of my horse, if I'll stick my spurs in their belly and roll my feet and roll them spurs up and down their belly while I'm going forward and asking them, a lot of horses will run harder through that than they're ever going to run when you're out here gapping open and kicking the air out of them. Um, something else, you know, I help a lot of people a lot of times and something you'll see, I'll see short-legged people with really long shanks on their spurs. Um, to me, the, if you're a short person, you need shorter shanks on your spurs because your your legs are more up here and you have got more direct contact with that horse's side faster than i do because my legs are so long therefore i ride a long shanked spur so that i can get because my, my legs are hanging down below this horse's belly and i need something longer to be able to get in there to make contact um some horses i don't ride with spurs but most of them i do because just because you have them on doesn't mean you have to use them but I would rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them.